Town Planning and Architecture in Mohenjo-daro. In this module, you'll learn about the town planning and architecture of Mohenjo-daro, one of the main urban settlements of the Harappan civilization. One of the most unique features of the Harappan civilization was the development of large urban centers such as Mohenjo-daro and Harappa. Although Harappa was the first site to be discovered, Mohenjo-daro became more well known because it was one of the largest urban settlements of the Harappan civilization. Archaeological excavations at Mohenjo-daro reveal that the city of Mohenjo-daro was divided into two sections, the citadel and the lower town. The citadel was smaller but higher, while the lower town was larger but lower. Archaeologists believe that the citadel was a fortified settlement and consisted of some important structures such as the Great Path and the Warehouse, while the lower town consisted of houses and workshops. The warehouse in the citadel area was a massive structure. Archaeological evidence suggests that the lower portion of the warehouse was made of bricks and the upper portion was probably made of wood. The great bath in the citadel area was a large rectangular tank which archaeologists believe was meant for special ritual parts. The tank was located inside a courtyard and was surrounded by a corridor on all four sides. The tank was motored with gypsum to make it watertight. Two step ways led to the tank, one from the north and another from the south. The tank had bricks in its edges and a huge drain on one side. Most of the houses in the lower town had a central courtyard with rooms surrounding it. The courtyard was probably used for activities such as cooking and weaving during the summers. In order to maintain privacy, the main entrance of most houses was positioned in such a way that it did not give a direct view of the interiors. In addition, no windows were present in the walls of the ground level of the houses. Archaeological evidence suggests that the buildings in the citadel in the lower town were built in platforms which acted as foundations for the buildings. These platforms were made of mud bricks that were either sun-dried or baked and were of a standard size. The length of each brick was four times the height of the brick and the breadth was two times the height of the brick. It's very unfortunate that none of the Harappan architecture has completely survived the test of time. All we see today are the ruins of very sophisticated and advanced civilization whose architecture continues to be the center of historical debate for so many because so much remains unexcavated and unexplored. Let's recall what you've learned. One of the most unique features of the Harappan civilization was the development of large urban centers such as Mohenjo-daro and Harappa. Archaeological excavations at Mohenjo-daro reveal that the city of Mohenjo-daro was divided into two sections, the citadel and the lower town. The warehouse in the citadel area was a massive structure. The great bath in the citadel area was a large rectangular tank, which archaeologists believe was meant for special ritual baths. The tank was located inside a courtyard and was surrounded by a corridor on all four sides. The houses in the lower town were built along roads and streets that were laid out in the form of a grid. Most of the houses in the lower town had a central courtyard with rooms surrounding it. In order to maintain privacy, the main entrance of most houses was positioned in such a way that it did not give a direct view of the interiors. Archaeological evidence suggests that the buildings in the citadel and the lower town were built on platforms which acted as foundations for the buildings.